Hello folks. I didn't get around to pulling the Nissan engine out today. There was a big truck in the way and I couldn't move it at the time so I left it maybe next week. I did save this Torrington blower though. Uh, only reason I realised this furnace was scrap was because these bearings had gone all stiff and gummy. The motor couldn't turn the blower. So I've lubricated that and they're perfect now. Works really well. Actually it's supposed to go that way. Uh, the original idea was to actually take this motor off and use a uh, one of my gas engines like a Villiers. Make a nice little running display. Uh, I might leave the electric motor on for the time being. Hook it up and see what it does. It's a Tampa brand motor. One quarter horsepower, 1425 RPM, uh, 2.8 amps at 230 volts. I believe it's the same motor that would have come with this from the factory, it looks like it. So it's also dated 1968. I just thought I'd give the uh, bearings a bit more of an overhaul. They were sticking again. Uh, initially I thought these were ball bearing races because they, it says on the sticker that they're factory sealed for life. And typically you find most manufacturers have ball bearing races which are sealed up for life. But these are actually plain bronze bearings. Uh, they're little packing washers which are a fibrous material followed by a retaining collar with a grub screw. Very easy to service. Just pull both collars off and the pulley. Everything comes apart very easy on this blower. They're not excessively tight or loose tolerances. Now that I've allowed the shaft to move around a bit and wiped all the gunk off it, it spins quite freely. As you can see, the collars on either side stop the shaft from drifting axially. These washers just take up a bit of play and help to keep lubrication in. It's a nice little blower, actually. There we go. The bearings are nicely preloaded. No lateral play in the shaft. Still spins nice and free, though. Pulley's a pretty good fit. Not too tight like half of them are. Good old Canadian quality. Considering this thing went from 1968 until probably a month or so ago without failing, it's pretty good. A lifetime sealed bronze bearings. I don't ever believe this thing's ever received oiling or anything. There we go. The old drive belt's an old Goodyear 4L420. It's not too bad considering its age. It's not cracked or falling apart. Very loose though. <laughs> don't know how to tension that one. Actually, yeah, there's a screw on the underside. Yep, I'll just wind that nut out. Yeah, the old motor mounts are a bit shagged, so I'm not going to put too much tension on that. Everything moves. Oh, well. got a power lead on it. There we go. Dodgy wiring for the win. I don't have any uh, female spade terminal, so I just use the old leads. Yes, it is earthed properly. Power up. Hey, that's alright.
I call that a success. Nice little blower. Might leave the electric motor on there. I was going to use a small engine to power it, but it's a neat little package as it is, and it's very quiet. It's actually quieter than some of the uh, direct drive blowers that I've got. Most of them today are just built by installing the motor in place of the pulley. It's actually all built into one. You would have seen it on any, any of my gas central heater videos. Even the oil, motor has little oilers on it. Nice. Oh well, thanks for watching. Even the little air drill that was sitting inside the cabinet works. Nice little runner. With a genuine Jacob's chuck on it as well. Oh yeah, and the guy who gave me the old neon sign transformers and other lighting gear about 12 months ago left me with this thing today. It's a uh, proper metal halide shop type uh, display case lamp. Came out of a jewellery store. Power supply is made by JB Electrical Components. A 150 watt metal halide transformer. It's actually an APCO transformer and custom built igniter and ballast. And that there's just a UV filter and uh, other housing stuff. I don't know how to open it. It's all dirty and cloudy inside. But I know it works. I've tried it. There we go, she's ignited. It takes a little while to warm up, but it works quite well. Bloody bright. <laughs> Neat little lamps these are. I've got some much bigger ones that I've been meaning to try out for a while. I've got them from Brad. I'll have to find a transformer that works with them. There we go. You can light up this otherwise shadowy area. It's coming out nice blue now while it's warming up. It should come to a pure white by the end of it. Uh, starting current's about 1.23 amps and running current's about half of that at the most. It's a nice e economical little unit.